Hey, what's going on guys? This is a video about um, camshaft position sensor um, in your Volkswagen Polo. It's actually quite a common problem um, with Polos where the actual sensor goes bad. The faulty sensor can cause an, a number of different problems in your car, from acceleration to idling, um, and it can even make your car stall more often. In this video, I'm just gonna split the video kind of into three parts. The first will be about um, diagnosis of the problem. The second part about talking a bit more about the symptoms, like the acceleration problems and stuff. And the third part is uh, replacing the actual sensor um, in your car. So the first thing you'll probably notice with a faulty camshaft position sensor is the uh, check engine light will come on in your car and stay on um, even when the car's running. In order to see what this fault code's about, we can use um, an OBD2 scanner um, to check and read exactly what fault code it is. To read the codes, I'm using an app called Talk and a Bluetooth OBD2 connector called an ELM327, um, which is connected underneath the dashboard. Right there. When we scan the codes, we get... So once the scan's finished, you get um, a code like this, which is for faulty camshaft position sensor, P0342 camshaft position sensor circuit low input. Now I should say that this code actually relates to three different things. It could be that the camshaft position sensor is actually faulty. It could be the wiring to the sensor is faulty, or it could be um, that the timing's off, but often it will be due to a faulty sensor itself. In terms of symptoms, it basically makes the car pretty awful to drive. Um, it affects almost everything. It affects the startup. Listen to this. That was pretty long, eh? Listen, this is how it normally sounds. Also, one of the worst things is the acceleration. It really affects the acceleration badly. So like, instead of accelerating in a linear fashion, like it goes and it makes the whole ride really jerky. And on top of that, the car also goes into like some sort of limp mode. So when you're accelerating, the RPMs go up, it kind of caps it. On my car it caps at four and a half thousand RPMs, so you can't actually accelerate very hard. Um, and I'll show you that right now. So this is acceleration in first gear at full throttle. See it limits it out to like four and a half thousand. And in second gear. same thing and it happens up through all the gears and it also causes a poor unstable idle so you'll probably feel some shaking at the traffic lights and stuff and it also causes the uh, your fuel efficiency to go down so your mpgs will be down so to get to the sensor basically you have to lift up this engine cover um, normally they just come out you just have to pull them off because they're held in by these suction suction things which attach onto these uh, pins here yeah. and the uh, camshaft position sensor is easily located right here before you actually go ahead and take out the sensor just have a look around the back and just check if that wiring right there is, is alright make sure none of the wires are coming out or whatever because um, if it is then that will be your problem and not the actual sensor so once you've eliminated the possibility of it being a wiring problem, you can go ahead and take the sensor off. This is the connector part and this is the actual sensor. So to separate them, you have to get like a flathead screwdriver, or I'm just using a key, and put it in there. And then kind of twist it, just to release it there. Did you hear that? And then push it back, and the sensor should release. If, say, it's very difficult to release, 
don't force it whatever you do like just try to be as gentle as possible like try and pry it a little bit don't do it hard because even if it takes you 25 minutes to get it off it's worth it rather than breaking it because that will cost you even more time so to remove the sensor you just need an allen key um, a 5mm allen key this is just a universal set um, really very easy to get hold of once it's in you just turn it anti-clockwise just do it until it's loose then you can do the rest of it by hand and inside there oil and inside is a camshaft right there once you've got the new sensor you can just take a little bit of oil from the hole there and then just put it around the new sensor seal and it will help give it a better tighter seal once the seals lubed up you can just go ahead and put it on it's quite easy and then retighten the bolt clockwise and then when you tighten it it doesn't have to be too tight just very snug that's all and then you can go ahead and just clip that back on and that's the job done if you're not going to get the part from the dealership or whatever um, I'll put a link in the description to where I get pretty much all my stuff from apart from some of the very specific stuff and they're really cheap and they do some really good like offers sometimes uh, with like codes and stuff like that you can just use a code and like 20% off or whatever so I'll leave a link in the description for that thanks